My plan expedites relief for legitimate asylum seekers by screening out the meritless claims. If you have a proper claim, you will quickly be admitted. If you don't, you will promptly be returned home. That's President Trump yesterday talking about changes he wants to see to the nation's immigration laws, unveiling a plan that would overhaul the system and give preference to English-speaking, skilled, and well-educated applicants. But his proposal it's, is catching heat from both parties. Let's bring in Senate Judiciary Committee member Marsha Blackburn. At first blush, Senator, what do you think of the president's proposal? I applaud him for putting something on the table, and just as I applaud Senator Graham, who chairs our committee, for bringing forward a bill that will address some of the things that the Border Patrol wants to see done. You know, John, one of the things we have to realize is this is one of the hottest topics and most talked about topics with all of our citizens. As I'm across Tennessee, it is issue number one. Second thing they talk about is how great the economy is. But here's the thing. Until we secure that southern border and end all the trafficking of drugs and human beings and gangs and the sex trafficking, until we do that, every town is a border town and every state is a border state. And as we have talked with law enforcement officers from our communities this week, during National Police Week, one of the things they have mentioned to us is the impact, the negative impact on our communities that the open border on the southern border is having. Yeah, the president uh, talked about that and, and says mm -hmm. that, you know, it's part, the reform of the laws is part of the effort, just as important really as building the wall. Listen to this. As we close the gaps, in our physical framework, we must also close the gaps in our legal framework. Critical to ending the border crisis is removing all incentives for smuggling women and children. Because the word is out in Central America, if you show up at the U.S. border and you've got a child in tow, they're going to let you in. That seems crazy. Well, it is so inappropriate, and that is why we are tightening those uh, restrictions around asylum seekers and allowing that to be filed in their home ca uh, countries. Likewise, I'm introducing legislation and working on an information sharing provision between DHS and HHS so that we are certain that Health and Human Services and Homeland Security know the idea identities of these traffickers and know if they truly are related to a child and who that child is being turned over to in the U.S. and what their, what their identity is. Many times these people are not in the country legally. And the last thing we want to do is to see a child turned over to a labor gang or a sex gang or into an MS-13 gang. And John, protecting these children is paramount. That is why Senator Graham is so spot on when he says, let's change these rules around asylum. And it is why the president is so spot on when he said, whether it's Border Patrol or Immigration Services or ICE, what we have to do is listen to them and then take action on what they're saying. They have to have done to secure, <clears throat> pardon me, to secure our southern border. Let's hope uh, that both houses of Congress and the White House can come together on some kind of plan to fix the problem ah. because it is uh, uh, clearly out of control there at the southern border. Senator, we have to say goodbye. Yes. Senator Marsha Blackburn, we appreciate it. Thanks. Good to see you. Thank you.